George, I'll pick things up with you. What, um, as you think about design, how would you define it? I think in my opinion that design is the, the combination of form and function. It's about designing, um, about creating experiences. Um, I think that design isn't just, it does something, is something beautiful, but it's more about, is something useful. Mm. Um, what about you guys as you uh, do your work? Um, I mean, for 40 hours a week, you're looking at um, the user interface, uh, which is very much, there's a stylistic component to it. How do, how do you think about design as you're doing your work? I think that, um, kind of like what George said, I think that a lot of people think of design as maybe just something that looks cool mm -hmm. um, or looks, yeah, like visually ap appealing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that like if I were to simplify it, I think that design is something that's easy to use. Mm. So like whether that means we're talking about an email client or a toaster, it should be usable. Like the, the user should have a really easy time engaging with it. So you mentioned a toaster. Yeah. Uh, we design uh, user interfaces, but you mentioned, <laughs> right. no, this is good. You mentioned yeah. toaster. So uh, that uh, appeals to another audience. So would you say that good design should matter to everyone? Yes. I feel like the easiest way to answer this question, though, is to ask the question, like, why should bad design matter to everyone? And yeah. I think the answer to that is that bad design can frustrate you, it can injure you, it can confuse you, it can get you into trouble. Mm -hmm. And I um, like that. Bad, bad design can injure you. Yes. <laughs> it can. It's like, literally <laughs> dangerous to have bad design. Right. Well, because the thought is that like whether <clears throat> we're talking about digital products or physical products, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people are engaging in some form of product, like thousands of products every day, whether you're um, like turning the faucet on in the morning or plugging your phone in at night or like opening the door, you're engaging with all sorts of different things. Right. So you, a lot of what you just said, Kaylee, um, talks about purpose. So there's mm. purpose behind what's being created and purpose mm. naturally leads to influence. So Alex, what I wanted to ask you a question was, um, where in your life, what areas in your life where design, good or bad, as we just talked about, has uh, the biggest influence? I think it's, it's honestly, it's in everyday things. I mean, it's in how the ergonomics of my car are set up so that my drive to work is easy and functional. It's um, how I've set up my room. I like the saying that design is invisible. Or design should be invisible. Mm. Um, bad design will pop out of you. Mm -hmm. um, good design should delight you, but it's yeah. not something that you really like put out and say, oh, that was designed well. You're just like, that works. Yeah. Unless design. you're a designer and then yes. you, know, you, know, you, know, you like obsess <laughs> right. over everything you yes. see. But I think for, for everyday users, that's mm -hmm. absolutely right. It should yeah. be something that they don't even notice that it was just easy to use. Because if yeah. it was easy to use, right. it got out of their way. Yeah. So really the only thing they should notice is that this experience was good. Yeah. And not necessarily attributing it to the design, mm -hmm. um, but really the design created that experience. Yeah, I think the, the, design, the purpose of the design in, in a situation like that is, is to expect, preempt the user's needs or desires or wants and provide that in the easiest way possible for them. Right. George, in your opinion, as you think about this company and where we're going, why is good design good business? I think that there is there was all experiences with brands were crafted, right? So they mm -hmm. were designed. What's changed a little bit is the fact that people expect a really great experience now. We've been spoiled by Apple and we've been spoiled by um, really great designed apps and we've been spoiled by these things that now we just expect that these are what our products are gonna be like moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not interacting and if you're not engaging with their users on all the way through their experience with your brand, you're, you're going to lose them. Attention spans are short, we know that. Um, I think people expect to be spoiled to mm -hmm. a certain extent. And that means that everywhere from how they were marketed to or engaged with mm -hmm. to how they were onboarded to the product and how they learned about what the product is and how to interact with it, all the way through how they were retained, that really plays into the success of a business. I think a lot of people miss that when they're designing. Is design, are, are the words design and art interchangeable or are they different? And I'll, I'll put, put that towards you, Kaylee. Okay. Um, so I think something that we share, something that we have in common, designers and artists, is that we're both creators. We're both creating something and I think 
we both consider the end user or in maybe an artist case, the end viewer. Mm -hmm. um, like we have that in the back of our mind as we're creating, but I don't think that they're interchangeable. I think they're different. Um, I think that the difference is that designers are thinking about service and artists are thinking about a statement. I think that art can also um, be trying to like have somebody feel a specific emotion or like a specific thing. Right. Um, whereas design, I think the goal of design is always to make someone happy. Hmm. Uh, one area or theme I hear a lot in our office and it's been touched a little bit here um, is the idea of simplicity and that good design is to um, make the user's life a little maybe easier or better. Um, is good design, is the goal of good design, Alex, always to uh, simplify and to make the user's life more simple? Mm -hmm. So something that I, when I was in school, I heard a lot um, is this quote that an artist or a designer um, knows they've achieved like the perfect design, not when they can, they can't add anything more, but when they can't take anything away. Mm. Um, I kind of push against that. Just I, I feel like that's almost that's minimalism, and minimalism has its place. Um, but I think there needs to be sort of a balance. Mm -hmm. So too clu too cluttered is bad, but too simple is all can also be bad. I do think simplicity is important. I think that you should have everything that you need for it to function well, mm -hmm. and nothing else. Unless mm -hmm. it's a design decision, like yeah. in the case of Mas Mashable. Yeah, right. Or it could be a business goal in that yeah. situation where they right. needed to make revenue and so they needed to make revenue right. for ads and stuff. But yeah, but yeah I mean, I think, I think it's a balance. Yeah. One final question for all of you. Um, I'm excited to, to hear your answers and we'll start with you, Kaylee, ladies first. Oh. What is the one thing you <laughs> love most about being a designer? Um, wow. I think my favorite part about being a designer is collaboration. Um, I think it's really important and I'm like continue to learn more and more how important it is to get feedback. Like even in, in the example of um, our website yeah. and like getting feedback from people who are just like, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, but I think that the awesome thing about design is that it invites critique mm. because like everyone can give an opinion about right. design because it, it's sort of, I mean, like, is it easy to use or not? Anyone can answer that question. Um, and I think it's important to ask designers, but to also ask other people. What about you, Alex? Um, I have a couple reasons that I like it so much. Um, I think any designer, whether it's a graphic or a web designer or an interior designer, any, it, it falls in a lot of different fields. We're all problem solvers. Mm -hmm. um, I think <clears throat> that is what interests me the most is here's a problem, I need to understand everything surrounding it and try and solve this puzzle. Mm -hmm. In that, I think it's also really cool, I get to learn about a ton of different industries. Um, I, I, I know a bunch of stuff about data solutions and art licensing and a bunch of other things just because I've touched on those right. in design. So I think that's another interesting and fun aspect. George, what about you? I think I would echo what's, what, what you guys have said. I think it, for me, it's my favorite part is it's about people, right? That we don't we create things for for humans to use, for for others to use, and I think that's what's so exciting is that when you really do have a pleasurable experience, whether that's you walk into a beautiful architecture building or you interact with a, a really beautiful app, mm -hmm. or um, you know, even you you're able to kind of raise and lower a desk and it just does it smooth and, and you know wonderful I, that's just such a great thing to see someone react to that right and that's that's the thing for me that's obviously solving a great problem it's it's it had took collaboration to get there but it's it's about people mm -hmm. and i think that's the best part for me is is being able to see someone's reaction when it actually is achieved when you do a great design uh, seeing how how great it can make a person feel yeah right. i don't i think it's just really cool that we our job is, is in a way to kind of help people mm -hmm. and to shape people's lives. Yeah, make life better. Make life mm -hmm. better, yeah. Love it, awesome. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was corny, okay. <laughs> <laughs>